hi guys welcome back today is going to be a really fun tutorial we're going to do a ninja band with bangs and we're going to use synthetic hair so well i hope you see how it actually turned out now my hair this time around is really really hard so i had a hard time actually combing it but when i apply the pink oil moisturizer it gets a little bit more manageable and i can just easily brush through with my bristle brush and I don't even need to comb through with a white tooth comb. So the bristle brush just kind of gets everything in there. So the pink oil moisturizer is going to act as our gel today. It's going to slick back my hair. So I'm not using Echo Gel this time around. But if you prefer to use Echo Gel for this style, you could as well use it at this step. So I've told you this many times. I love this bristle brush because I can easily comb my hair through. And as you can see, it just gets the pink oil to penetrate through my hair and then it's easy for me to slick it back nice and neat so now i'm going to go ahead to make a quick ponytail using a scrunchie just hold my hair nice and tight well don't make it too tight that it's going to hurt you but just make it nice and tight and with a toothbrush i'm just more like making sure that my hair is really nice down flat because you know it, it's more it's more detailed when combing through your hair just at the top to make sure all your flyaways are down and just to get those flyaways really really trapped you just have to get a silk scarf tie it around your head and then you can leave it on for a few minutes maybe do your makeup do something but just leave it on for a while so that the pink oil really blends in and dries on your hair so this is how my hair turned out I think this is really nice if you've used echo gel before this is kind of like the effect you get so i get the same from the pink oil my curl pattern comes up popping and i think it really looks good so go ahead and tie a braid at the back of your hair you know just so when you put the extension on you have a really nice and neat band behind so i'm just braiding that real quick and showing you how my hair is looking right now so if you're doubting pink oil, I think you should really reconsider. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and show you the braid that I'm using. I'm using a braid called Darling. We have this in Uganda. I don't know how many uh, other countries use it, but you can also use any pre-stretched braid hair that you can find. You all you need is just one braid and that will be enough. So this is what I'm using. It's black. And to make it easy for me to organize, I'm just using some argan oil. You can use olive oil, you can use any oil of your choice. So I'm just using this to kind of, you know, put it around the hair and just make sure that all the flyaways are put together with the rest of the braid. Because when this braid is messy, trust me, you're going to have a messy band. And even as you try to you recreate this look you're going to have a harder time because you're constantly fighting with flyaways so use some oil put that around the hair and then also just to make sure the rubber band doesn't stick to your hair when you're removing it you just have to also put some oil around that so i'm now going to go ahead and put this around my tiny bun just you know rotate this around and make sure it's nice and tight tight to your liking yeah you don't have to make it too tight that will be uncomfortable and then now this is where you have to really pay attention so you have two sections put one at the back and then with the one at the front you want to separate that into two unequal parts yeah so let me say that again separate the front to two unequal parts so the smaller section is what you're going to keep in front and then the bigger section is actually what you're going to put in the back so the smaller section is what you're going to use for your for your bangs and that's why i want you to use you know something that is not too thick because you don't want your bangs to be really really overwhelming and not looking very natural so that's why we use the lighter section and then i'm pulling this back because you know you want to use the lighter part of the hair yeah and this is what is actually going to give you a natural looking bang you know just want it to be lighter so pull the hair back a little bit and then just put a bobby pin to really secure it in one place and then that's what we are going to use eventually for our bang so now moving on from the bang we shall come back to that a little bit later we are going to start with the ponytail at the back or with the, the bun at the back yeah so i'm just holding this if you see the hair that we had left over you just have to hold that around your bun 
and then pick out one of the sections and just really roll it around the bun. So as you roll around the bun, you just have to twist the hair because when you twist, it actually makes your hair look more organized, but then it also gives some character to the bun. So it's not just hair rolled around, but it has like a little bit of a twist around and then it just makes it look nice and cute, yeah? So just go ahead, pick the next section and then you're going to do the same thing. You're going to separate that because we're using smaller sections. So the bun is actually going to have three sections of hair that have just been rolled around over and over again. Yeah. So roll that again. Make sure you use some oil. If you have some flyaways, you don't want to have a messy bun. So then just pre twist your hair and then just roll that around the bun. And then you're just going to finish until at the end, you're just going to tuck it into the rest of the bun. So as soon as you're done twisting this other section of the hair, you're going to repeat the same thing with the last piece of hair that you have. You just have to make sure you don't have any flyaways, put some oil on there if you feel like it's going to be a problem, then pre-twist your hair and then just roll it around your head. So you don't want to make it too tight because then it will make it look very plasticky. But when you actually just, you know, just tight enough, it gives it a natural looking, you know, a natural looking way, which you actually want for this particular hairstyle. So now that I'm done with my bun, I'm just going to go ahead and comb my hair. And then, you know, we're just going to proceed and start working on our bangs. Now, disclaimer, I've actually not had bangs before. So this was actually something interesting for me. I was more like looking forward to how am I going to look like with these bangs. So you just have to comb out the hair nice and straight and then you can just proceed to separate. So on our bang, we're going to have the two sides which are going to be nice and sharp to give you that nice ninja feeling. So as you can see, I'm cutting downwards with a scissor just to kind of reduce it because at the bottom, it's sharper than it is at the top. Now, since I told you already that this is synthetic hair, I'm going to go ahead and use a flat iron to kind of, you know, give it a nice curl at the front, but be mindful to not use a lot of heat because then you're going to actually fry the hell out of this hair. Okay. So just put some heat and you don't have to make it wait for way too long. You just, you just have to keep on like ironing your hair, ironing your hair through and just don't make it sit in one place for too, too long. So I did that a couple of times as I kept on combing through because then that's how you can tell whether it's curly enough yet or if it's also the right height for you so if the bangs are not the right height for you just proceed to just cut through with a scissor and then you'll keep on checking as the curl comes you'll see if it's going above your eyes or below your eyes and make sure that you cut it to your liking so yeah this is how i kept on going with the flat iron please be mindful of the heat do not burn yourself but otherwise, at the end of it all, I think this actually turned out really, really, really well. Please adjust the bangs to your liking. Uh, not everyone wants the same height. So for me, I just want it to be above my eyes so that I can be able to see without hair in my eyes. Yeah. But besides that, I really loved how this style came out. I think it gave my face a little bit of character. And I think I felt... I looked a little bit different so I would love for you guys to really try out this hairstyle because this is something this is something that is like quick I mean this braid I think the braid was less than a dollar yeah so I'm sure you can find one that you can use and you can just whip it out it just gives you a really nice look and you can go anywhere with it so thank you guys for watching see you in the next video